the stove is Stacy's job. What? Well, where is she? I don't know. Oh, I'll go find her. Stacy! Oh, hey, Ken. Don't mind me. I'm just hanging up a few signs. Oh, that's okay. Um, Stacy? What? Your shirt's a little... A little what? It's a little... Not professional. What do you mean? I like this shirt. It keeps me cool. Well, it's not appropriate, and it's very unprofessional. Oh, well, maybe I wouldn't have to wear it if you would install an air conditioner. We don't need an air conditioner, Stacy. It's only like 80 degrees in here. 80 degrees? That's really hot, Ken. Fine, I'll work on installing an air conditioner. But for now on, can you please wear a little more appropriate clothes? Fine. Thank you. And are you supposed to be running the stove? No, that's Skipper's job. Oh, I better go check on her then. Hey, Skipper, how's it going? Skipper? Oh, where is she? Oh, hey, Ken. Skipper, what are you doing? Taking a break? What does it look like? It looks like you're not doing your job. Stacy told you to watch the stove. I know, I just had Chelsea do it so I could take my break. Oh, you let Chelsea run the stove? Well, she wanted to. Chelsea! Hi, Ken. This is some good pizza. Chelsea! You're not supposed to eat it! Don't worry, I saved you a slice. It's for the customers! What customers? The customers over there! Oh, I didn't know we had any. Exactly. Can you go take their order? Sure. Yeah, I wonder if this place is as good as your mom's. Mm, probably not. Oh, here comes someone to take our order. Welcome to Pizzazz Pizza, home of the Pizzazz Pizza. My name is Chelsea. May I take your order? Yes. May we have one extra large cheese pizza, please? One extra large cheese pizza coming up. I took their order. Great. What do they want? They would like one extra large cheese pizza. Got it. All right, Chelsea, here is one extra-large cheese pizza. Okay, can I go give it to them? Sure. All right, you three, here is one extra-large cheese pizza. Mmm, it smells delicious. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, how does it taste, Savannah? It tastes really good. Better than my mom's? Uh, sorry, it kind of is. What? Let me see some of that pizza. Mmm, this is pretty good but not as good as my mom's. Well, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Yeah, I guess. Okay, Ken, I gave them their pizza. Great, do they seem to like it? They seem to love it. That's good. Ugh, this stove is a mess. I know, I'm gonna have Skipper and Stacy clean it. Skipper, Stacy! Skipper, Stacy, what are you doing now? We're taking our break. Skipper, you took your break about 10 minutes ago. Well, I'm taking another one. Yeah, me too. Oh, fine. But you have five more minutes, and then it's time to get back to work. Oh, that's it. There's going to be some changes around here. What does he mean by changes? I don't know, and I don't care. Do you want to finish that video? Sure. All right, everyone. May I have your attention, please? What is it, Ken? I made a list of rules that you guys need to read. Skipper, would you like to read the first one? No use of phone or electronics. Seriously? It's too distracting when you're trying to work. Yeah, well, you said that there'd be free Wi-Fi here. And what's the point of free Wi-Fi if you can't have your phone out? Good point. Oh, oh well. Oh, so unfair. Workers only get one break a shift. Does that mean we only get one break a day, basically? Yep. Oh, again, so unfair. No eating the pizza unless you're a customer. Really? Sorry, the pizza's for the customer. No switching jobs with other workers. Okay, that's just silly. Sorry, rules are rules. No ripped clothes, jeans, shorts, jackets, etc. What is this, a prison or something? No, it's a pizza parlor. No tank tops or shirts with no sleeves. Seriously, Ken? What? It's not professional. 
Ugh, in your opinion. No crop tops. Shirts cannot reveal skin. Well, why can't we reveal skin if it's roasting hot in here? Well, it's not professional. Yeah, well, maybe because you're too cheap to get an air conditioner. Stacy, calm down. It's not that bad. Yes, it is. Respect the customers. The customer is always right. Where'd you hear that one from? Spongebob? Yep. Oh, wow. Ken, don't you think some of these rules are a little, well, silly? Nope, not at all. Well, okay. All right, now that everyone understands the rules, you may all go back to work. Ugh, his rules are so ridiculous. I know, what are we gonna do? Well, I don't think we can do anything, but I think it's karma. What do you mean? Well, last year I was holding a sleepover with Chelsea, Annabella, and Andrea. And unfortunately, Ken was there and he wrote a bunch of silly rules. Oh, I know. So, me and my friends and Chelsea got really annoyed, so we kicked him out and we locked him out. And he was outside in the cold for about three hours. Oh, yeah. And we ate his favorite bag of chips. Oh, so something might bad happen to him just because he made these rules? Wait a minute. What? Well, every time Ken writes a set of rules, something bad happens to him. What do you mean? Well, last year I was at a sleepover with some friends, and Ken was there, and he wrote a bunch of rules for us to follow. And right after he wrote the rules, he went outside to get the newspaper, and he got locked outside. And he was outside in the cold for three hours. Oh my, I know. Do you think since he wrote these rules, something bad will happen to him? I don't know, but I kind of hope something does. Yeah, maybe then he'll realize that it's bad karma writing rules, and he'll take them away. Yeah, let's keep our fingers crossed. Mom, I'm home. Hey, Olivia. How was the play date? It was pretty good. After I played at Savannah's house for a few hours, her mom took me and Savannah to a new pizza place. A new pizza place? Yeah, it's right up the street. What's it called? Pizzazz Pizza. Oh, was the food any good? Yeah, it was pretty good but not better than yours. Okay. Were there a lot of customers there? Nope, it was just me and Savannah and her mom. Okay, that's a good sign. I'll have to keep an eye on that place. I can't let them get too popular, or else I'll have to do something. The toys featured in this video includes the Barbie Pizza Chef oven. This really cool toy comes with a Barbie doll, an oven, some pots and pans, and some actual dough to bake the pizza with. With the dough, you can press, grate, bake, and slice and serve it. It's a really cool toy that I think everyone would enjoy. The next item that was used in this video was the Barbie popcorn maker. This really cool item comes with a popcorn maker, a really cool Chelsea doll, and even a dog for her to play with. Another toy used in this video was the Baker play set. This set includes a doll, cake mix, a spoon, a spatula, icing, a cooking glove, a baking bowl, and a cupcake holder. Something that's really cool about this toy is that the cake rises and the timer even dings when the cake is ready. Another toy that was used in this video is the Barbie and Ken two doll set. This set comes with Barbie and Ken dressed as chefs, along with some other cooking utensils for them. It also comes with a bread, a toaster, and a really cute teacup. The last toy that was used in this video is the Stacy smoothie set. This set comes with a really neat Stacy doll along with some stuff needed for a smoothie. It also comes with a dog along with some bananas. Before I end this video, I would like to give a special thanks to Mattel for sending me all these really neat toys. Thank you, Mattel. I really appreciate it. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Bye.